Hey friends, Ash here with Chin Sense. Hope you're doing really well. Got something different for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be talking about this fragrance right here. Axe number five from Mischief. This is drop number 41 from Mischief. If you don't know what that means, we'll talk about it here in just a second and I'll fill you guys in. Now, this fragrance already has sold out. Sold out in under one minute. Yeah. And the cost, $400. Yeah. This is probably the most different, unique thing that I've talked about on the channel so far. So let's just jump into it. Mischief actually reached out to me not that long ago, maybe a week ago, week and a half ago, and said, hey, we're releasing a fragrance called Axe Number no. 5. Do you want to check it out? And that was, that was pretty much it. <laughs> and um, they shot me a link to the website, I took a look at it, and I was like, this is different. Like I said, very, very unique. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll check it out. And they, they sent it to me, and here we are. So I'm gonna show you guys how this one is packaged. I'll tell you what I think about it, and I'll let you know what Mischief has to say about this one. Oh yeah, 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 and, and Mischief. If you don't know what they are, uh, they're a very interesting company. They have drops that they do every two weeks. So every two weeks they'll do a new drop. Like I said, this one is number 41, and you really don't know what each drop is going to be. They are very different. Sometimes it's a product, a really off the wall product. Uh, sometimes it's not a product at all. Uh, sometimes it's an experience. Like the, the drop before this one, you could actually take control of a Boston Dynamics robot that had a paintball gun strapped to it that was in an art gallery. You could control it and go around and shoot paintballs in the art gallery. I'll leave a link in the description to Mischief's website and also the website for this, which is axenumber5.com, spelled ax number, not N O, number in U M B E R 5.com. And the way that they describe this one is the most treasured brand in luxury fragrance meets the most reviled scent in locker rooms everywhere. Well, let's go ahead and check out the presentation. So it comes in this box, which is actually really nice, really well done, heavy duty, and it does feel like a luxury box. You can see here right on the front, Axe number no. five body spray. And you can see what they've done there with the Chanel logo. So here's a really good look at it for you guys. Axe number no. five, and it says the same on the side. And on this side, Eau de Mischief, and it's the same here and here. And there is the back. Same as the front. And this is how it looks when you open it up. And the uh, box will actually sit right down inside of here. And that is on the inside of the top of the box. Axe number five, rank ass middle school locker room meets luxury scent experience. And here is your box for Axe number five. Good look at the back and the bottom. Gotta like that as well. Fancy stank, do not drink. Pro tip. And here is your bottle for Axe number five. Axe number five right here at the top. They're on the front as well. And on the back it says Eau de Mischief. And down here, oh yeah, Chanel. And the batch code for the Chanel number five that was in here, 5501. So what they've done here is they have taken a Chanel number no. five bottle and they have put Axe body spray inside of it here for you. $400 and it sold out in under a minute. That is the craziest thing ever. And now you may be thinking to yourself, uh, surely it's, it's not Axe body spray actually that's inside here. Yes, it is. <laughs> it absolutely is Axe body spray. It is Axe Phoenix. I did spray this on. I know that some people out there who really are hardcore Mischief fans who try to scoop up the drops are gonna hear that I sprayed it on and be like, <laughs> just like mind blown, their head explodes. But I did, I sprayed it on and I was like, wait, that smells familiar. 
And this one actually, Axe Phoenix. Back when I was a teenager, this was my choice. This was my go-to Axe. And uh, this can cost three bucks. This is what Mischief has to say about Axe number five though, and this is from their website. So you can go on there and read this. I'm leaving out a little bit because uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time reading what you can already see on the website. But it says, certain smells are ubiquitous in American culture and Axe body spray is one of them. Iconic is in no way synonymous with good. And in the fragrance world, Axe deserves the label as much as Chanel. At the end of the day, where icons are concerned, there is no good or bad. There is merely visible and invisible. Picture Chanel number no. five in your mind's eye and you may see a certain golden color, perhaps conjured alongside generic images of Marion Cotillard or Brad Pitt. But think of Axe and you feel that acrid burn in the deepest recesses of your sinuses. You remember vividly the sun slanting through a high window to cast striped shadows through the half-open metal door of a school locker. You can taste it floating on the air, that brutal, tactless scent, struggling valiantly to mask its wearer's particular pubescent musk and failing, ever failing, creating a nasal cocktail of unrivaled pungency. It is culture, not price, nor exclusivity that makes icons. Axe number five. So some of you out there are gonna see this and just be like, oh, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life. And then other people are going to be like, wait, that's actually pretty cool. So my wife thinks that this is awesome. She thinks it's really, really cool. She read up everything that they put about it. She took a look at the bottle, the whole presentation, and she was like, I get it and I like it. Now I know a lot of you out there, especially people that are, you know, Chanel connoisseurs are going to see this and just be like, blasphemy, blasphemy. And then hype beast type people are gonna see it and be like, that's awesome. I need a bottle now. I'm kind of in between. So I think it's pretty cool, the idea. And it's interesting to see fragrance now used in a mischief drop. I think that's really neat. But I pay 400 bucks for it for a bottle of Axe? No, not personally. But I'm still gonna keep it just because it's such a, a talking point, I feel like, in a collection. So the reason that I'm keeping it probably is, is maybe not the same as a lot of the people that did buy it. Or maybe actually it is the same. Maybe they do keep it just for a talking point and as like a cool collective piece. You guys are gonna have to let me know what you think about this though in the comments below. $400. Axe body spray. That is something I never ever thought I was gonna say. That Axe body spray went for that much money and sold out in under a minute. And actually, <laughs> my wife was like, um, are, are they affiliated with, with Axe or Chanel? And I was like, mm, no, no, they're not. <laughs> but uh, I guess they, they can do whatever they want. But you can clearly see that this was a Chanel bottle and it was drained and filled. Put this right here. Here it is though, drop number 41 from Mischief, Axe number five, already sold out. So if you want a bottle of this, you're gonna have to find it on the secondary market. Or I guess you could make your own knockoff version, just buy yourself a bottle, remove the uh, atomizer, remove the crimp, drain out that Chanel, fill it up with good old Axe Phoenix, good to go. And in case you're wondering what Axe Phoenix has note-wise, here it is. Lavender, citrus, and geranium in the top, a soil tincture and violet in the mid, and musk and leather in the base. There's your Axe Phoenix note breakdown. And by proxy, your Axe number five note breakdown. So there we go. Mischief drop number 41, absolutely keeping it in the collection. I'll put it back here somewhere. I know this stupid chair blocks a lot of that back there, but maybe I'll put it somewhere you can see, like right here. That's gonna do it for me, guys. Thanks to Mischief for sending this to me. It's going right up here, right, right up here. I can't wait to see what Eugenius has to say to me about this one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.